Hello and welcome back to POSIX Labs. My name is Shane and today we'll be going over the process for installing a thermal printer to a POS terminal. We'll be using a parallel port, the parallel ports and a parallel cable today. It's essentially the same process as using a USB cable and the USB ports, but of course you'll be using different ports and when you install the drivers, you will choose LPT1 as your port instead of the USB port but we'll go over that process a little bit later. What you're gonna need for this is, of course, your thermal printer, a POS terminal, your power supply for the thermal printer, and a parallel cable. The first thing you'll wanna do is go ahead and connect your power supply to your thermal printer. So we'll take this cable, and we'll plug it into here. We'll then plug in our power source. We'll take our adapter, which has a flat side, and we want that flat side facing up towards the bottom of the printer. And we'll plug it in right here. And the flat side goes facing up towards the bottom of the printer. All right, this is our parallel port, and that'll be where we connect the printer to the POS terminal. You'll also wanna make sure that your POS terminal is connected to the internet so you can download your drivers. Here we have our parallel cable. One side has prongs, like a more traditional plug, that will plug into the POS terminal. And the other side has a long rectangular centerpiece and that plugs into the receipt printer. You can't really mix them up, they're very different. We'll go ahead and plug it into the receipt printer. Plugs in right here. It's a shaped plug. The widest part faces up and you have two clips. There we go. We'll then run the cable underneath the back of our POS terminal and up and out through the front opening. You can see the prongs there. It's gonna plug in right up here. There's a long port. You can see it right there. And it's a shaped plug again. The wide side this time is going to face down. There we go. We'll tighten these screws up here. We can tuck that cable back into the base as we tilt our screen back down. Now we'll go ahead and power up our unit and then we can power up our printer as well. We'll want to go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and we'll want to launch our internet browser. It should open up by default to posx.com, but if it doesn't, you'll need to go to www.pos-x.com. Once you're there, you're going to select the support tab and you'll get a drop down menu and then you'll select your downloads from the drop down menu. We'll then go to our product category and we'll select receipt printers. And then we'll go to our product designation and we'll select an Evo high speed. You could also select Evo green or the ion thermal. They're all thermal printers and they all use the same drivers. But for this, we're gonna select the high speed. We'll then choose our windows driver and we'll download. If it prompts you to run or save, you want to save. We'll then close out of there. We'll go to our file folders. And in this case, uh, my program will be saved in my downloads folder. So I'll click on that and then I'll click run. It'll begin the installation process. The 
the installation menu should pop up. I will click a check mark in the box by the POSX thermal printer and click install. And then I want to make sure that my default operating system is correct. So for me this time it's Windows 7. And since we're doing a parallel port installation, we're going to go and make sure that that port is set at LPT1. And we'll click OK. The installation should continue. Uh, we can set it as our default printer if we want to. You do not need to reboot, so you can uncheck that block. And then click OK. And then we'll go to our start menu and we'll click devices and printers. Go to your POSX thermal printer icon, double click that. We'll then select printer and properties and it'll allow us to print a test page. So we'll click on that. There we go. And it says, congratulations. And there we go, mission accomplished. If you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to contact us. My name is Shane from POSX Labs. POSX, point of sale simplified.